one of Deepwater Wind's proposal is for eight turbines to be placed approximately three miles off the southeast side of Block Island. Um, those turbines are part of the initial demonstration project that will help uh, establish the science and the logistical factors associated with phase two, which will be um, 100 plus turbines 15 miles offshore beyond the horizon. The fact that we could be powering this whole island uh, with renewable resource is a goal that uh, you know I personally think we should be going for, and a lot of people agree with that. Black Island has one of the highest electrical rates in the country, and uh, with the advent of renewable power offshore and the possibility of a cable, uh, we could not only lower the rates, we could stabilize them so they're not subject to fluctuation of oil prices. By connecting the wind farm to Block Island and then to the mainland, we can tie in to National Grid. The construction schedule uh, looks to be on the timeline for finishing in late 2012, early 2013. This is for phase one. Phase two, the larger wind farm, 50 miles off, will in all likelihood follow that by two to three years. That system is designed to produce more than three times what we use on Block Island and peak in the summertime. The idea that we will be 100% using renewable powers, it, you know, can go a long way to making the island a really sustainable place. You don't go forward without trying a lot of stuff. This is proven technology in other parts of the world and it's time we caught up.